Now, there's been a lot in the media so far about temperatures as we head into next week. Uh, there's been talks, I've got some examples here, there's been some talks of uh, a Caribbean plume and a Caribbean jet stream. I've not heard of that one myself. Uh, also, um, talks of the Spanish plume coming up from the south. So I just wanted to talk about that quickly because with that kind of setup, we get warm temperatures and then we normally see a thundery breakdown, which is why I'm sure some thunder questions have come up. Now, what these kind of media outlets tend to look at, they look at what uh, some free websites that you can get and they tend to look at, for example, this is from weather charts. They tend to just look at one model run. And if, if you know, if you're part of our Met Office audience, you know that we don't really do that at the Met Office. We don't just look at one model output. We tend to look at a few different models. We also use ensemble data where we run a model multiple times with different initial conditions. And that shows us the different possibilities that we can see in our weather. So yes, this is one model output showing a warm plume moving up from the southeast. It indicates we could possibly see temperatures temperatures reaching 30 degrees. However, this is just one output. And actually, if we take a look at a few more, so this is some ensemble data. This is what we call postage stamps. So we run that model over and over again, and it shows us the different possibilities. And yes, there are some. Taking a look at the first four here up in the top left, you can see that some are indicating a warm plume moving up across the southeast, some even stretching further into northeast England. And yes, that could bring the possibility of temperatures, high 20s, low 30s, and eventually even some thunderstorms as a result of that warm, humid air. But not all of these outcomes are showing us uh, the same picture. For example, here we have member 13, member 14, 15, 16, also showing actually no warm air at all clipping into the southeast, and it keeps it towards Europe. So there are some outputs indicate, uh, suggesting that we could see some warmer temperatures into next week, but there's still quite a lot of uncertainty. Until we see a few more of these models or these model, model runs agreeing, we can't really pinpoint exactly if we're going to start to see those temperatures next week. And if we do, it's likely that it'll just be a blip rather than any sustained settled conditions with high temperatures.